Hello and welcome back to my English classes. I hope you are safe and well at this home. Please take the precautions as uh, time is very hard. Now children, today we are going to see class 7, chapter 6 from the book Sparrow, Believer in the Land of Giants. Now what do you mean by giants? Giants are those people who are big in size. Everything, their legs, hands, chest, face everything height is so big those people are called as giants now this chapter is written by jonathan swift gulliver's from a famous book gulliver's travels now first i will read the paragraph and then i will explain you after staying in england with my wife and family for two months i undertook my next sea voyage which took me to the land of giants called broding means uh, Jonathan has uh, taken a sea route. He has gone for adventures through seas. And now, he, after staying with his wife and family for two months in England, he decided to go to the next sea voyage. Voyage means journey. Okay? And he went to the giant's land, which was Brogue Dingnan. A giant farmer discovered me and took me up in his farm. He was at least 60 feet high and I was just six. Now he is saying that the giant farmer in where, where he has landed to the giant's uh, land. Then the dark giant was a farmer and he took him on his farm. He was at least 60 feet high. Or uski height kya thi? Six. After a close examination, he realized that I was a human being like him. Close examination means the giant ने उसको बहुत पास से देखा तो उसको लगा कि वो भी एक इंसान है. Only much smaller in size. He tried to speak to me in his language. The second of his voice was like the sound of thunder. Means उसकी आवाज इतनी तेज थी जैसे जब thunder होता है ना तूफान होता है बिजली कड़कती वैसी उसकी आवाज थी. But I could not understand anything. I spoke in English in a loud voice. The writer was not able to understand anything and he spoke in English in a loud voice. He carried me near his ears but it was of no use. We could not understand each other's language. Because dono ki language different thi. That is why wolo ek dusre ki language nahi samaj pa rahe The farmer took out his handkerchief, doubled it and laid it on his palm. The giant ne kya kya? He, because he was a kind giant. So he put out his handkerchief, उसको double करके उसके हाथ पे and put me on it and walked on. हाथ पे किसी उसको अजीब लग रहा होगा तो उसने हाथ पे रुमाल रखा उसके ऊपर writer को रख बैठा दिया. I couldn't understand due to the movement of his hands, so I lay at my full length. अब giant का हाथ इतना बड़ा था कि वो उस रुमाल पे पूरी तरह से लेट गया. Then he covered me with the ends of his handkerchief and took me home. मतलब उसने handkerchief पे उसको the farmer called his wife. She too was a giant woman like him. She was 60 feet high. She he showed me to her. मतलब जो giant की wife थी वो भी उसी की तरह लंबी चौड़ी सी थी तो उसने writer को दिखा. At first she screamed. Scream means चिल्लाना. And ran back frightened as if seeing a spider or lizard. The writer of giant ki wife ko laga ki jaysay wo koi chikka li ya spider le aya hai. It took her husband a long time to remove her fear. She watched my behavior and slowly began to touch me and lift me. Bhaan deer ke baad usko saan hai ki wo ek human being hai. Dheere dheere se usko chhoonne ki koshish ki. She behaved very kindly with me. It was lunch time. So all the people in the family took their seat at the table. The farmer and his wife lived with their three children and an old grandmother. Mother, the family of the farmer of the giant farmer was three children and one grandfather, and they sat on the table. There was only one good dish of delicious food as I could smell. Writer ko sir ek usko dish achhi smell kari. It was a huge plate top about twenty four feet in diameter. The table was 30 feet high. The farmer put me on the table. I was terribly frightened and kept as far as I could from the edge of the table. Means the giant ne kya kya usko table pe bitha diya. Aur wo dar ke baare uski halat kharaab thi. So he is carefully sat on the edge. 
The farmer's wife placed some food before me. I bowed a loaf to the farmer and his wife and began to eat. All were delighted to see me eat. मतलब वहाँ पे सब एक फैमिली की तरह रह रहे थे तो ये जो राइटर था ही वॉज ऑल्सो लाइक वैन वैन इट स्टार्ट ईटिंग एवरीबडी वॉज हैप्पी देन द मिस्टर सेंट हर अ मेड टू फेच अ स्मॉल मेडिसिन कप फेच मीन्स ड्रिंक कप ऑफ मेडिसिन इट हैड अबाउट थ्री गैलन ऑफ ड्रिंक मतलब उनके हिसाब से तो थोड़ा था लेकिन अकॉर्डिंग टू द राइटर इट वॉज टू मच आई लिफ्टेड द कप इन बोथ द हैंड विद ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी मीन्स बहुत मुश्किल से उसने अपने कप को हाथ में उठाया देन इन अ मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टफुल मन ड्रैंक टू हर हेल्प द ड्रिंक टेस्टेड गुड आई स्पोक आउट वर्ड्स लाउडली इन दैट प्लेस मीन्स ही वॉज थैंकफुल द राइटर वॉज थैंकफुल टू दीज जैंट फैमिली इट मेड दम ऑल लाफ हैपीडली आई ऑलमोस्ट पेंटेड विद द लाफिंग नॉइज मतलब उन लोग क्योंकि जाइंट थे उन लोग इतनी जोर जोर से आते थे कि उसकी आवाज से राइटर वॉज अबाउट टू फेंट ना तो फार्मर मेड अ साइन फॉर मी टू कम टू हिस्स साइड As I walked, I tumbled. Tumble means fell down against the crust of his bread and fell flat. Means वो उनकी bread के ऊपर जो से गिर पड़ा. I got up at once and saw that the good people were all standing around. I took my hat, waved it over my head, and bowed low three times. मतलब in honor to say thank you, he bowed down three times. They were glad to see that I was not hurt. The the giant family was happy that when he fell down on the bread, he was not hurt. Just then, the youngest son of the farmer, of a boy of ten, took me up by the legs and held me in the air. उसके बाद क्या हुआ? Giant के जो एक youngest boy था, who was ten years old, he began to play with that man, putting him on his legs and throwing him in the air. I was shaking all over with fear. But his father snatched me, uh, snatched me from him, and scolded him for his bad manners. So his uh, the giant, uh, the boy's father took the man, and he scolded Data उसने अपने लड़के को for bad manners. When we were half way through the lunch, their pet cat jumped into the lap of their mistress. When they were eating their lunch, almost half was done. The cat jumped on mistress's lap. Hearing the purring noise of the cat, I turned my head. The animals was three times size of an ox. A cat भी इतनी बड़ी थी जितनी तीन ox के बराबर वो एक cat थी It frightens look made me tremble. मतलब उसका look देख के वो writer डर गया I could not move out of fear. Three dogs of the farmer also came into the room for the leftovers. Leftovers मीन जो खाना बचा हुआ था वो तीन डॉगीज के लिए दे दिया गया वन ऑफ देम वॉज अ मैस्टिफ द साइज ऑफ फोर एलिफेंट्स एंड टू अदर्स मीन्स उन डॉगीज का साइज क्या था चार हाथियों के बराबर था ग्रे अबाउंड सम वॉट टॉलर दैन द मैस्टिफ बट नॉट सो बिग वेन द लंच वॉज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर द नर्स केम इन विद विद अयर ओल्ड बेबी इन हर आर्म्स द बेबी स्ट्रेच हिज हैंड्स टूवर्ड्स मी मतलब ना The hostess came. The nurse came. She was holding a baby, and that baby put her uh, tried to touch the writer. The mistress took me up and gave gave to me to him. Okay. Now the mistress, what she did? That she gave the writer to him. The baby caught me by the middle and pushed my head in his mouth. I screamed so loudly that that he became frightened and let me drop. मतलब वो बच्चा भी इतना बड़ा सा था कि वो राइटर से बहुत राइटर जो था बहुत छोटा सा लग रहा था तो उसे डर के मारे जब वो चिल्लाया तो उसे नीचे गिरा दिया मिस्ट्रेस हेल्ड आउट हर एप्रॉन टू सेव मी फ्रॉम इंजरी फ्रॉम फॉलिंग डाउन आफ्टर लंच द फार्मर वेंट टू हिज फील्ड फ्रॉम हिज वॉइस एंड जस्ट आई न्यू दैट ही गेव हिज वाइफ इंस्ट्रक्शन टू टेक गुड केयर ऑफ मी ना फार्मर जो था जो मेन जॉइंट था जो उसको लेके आया था ही हैज़ गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू द लेडी टू हिज वाइफ दैट ही शी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ द राइटर दे हैड अ डॉटर अबाउट ट्वेल्व इयर्स ओल्ड शी वाज अबाउट फोर्टी फीट टॉल मतलब टेन ईयर चार साल बारह साल की लड़की थी और वो कितनी फीट थी फोर्टी फीट शी वॉज एन एक्सपर्ट विद अ नीडल एंड मेड फाइन ड्रेसेज फॉर हर डॉल्स 
शी एंड हर मदर मेड अ बेड फॉर मी इन द डॉल्स क्रेडल अब क्योंकि राइटर बहुत छोटा सा था उनके यहाँ तो उन्होंने जैसे छोटे बच्चे का सोने का बिस्तर होता है वैसे ही उन्होंने उसके लिए बना दिए दे पुट मी इन द क्रेडल एंड पुट द क्रेडल इन हैंगिंग शेल्फ फॉर फियर ऑफ रैट्स और उन्होंने क्या किया उसमें उस राइटर को लिटा दिया और ऊपर टांग दिया ताकि चूहे ना काट पाए द रैट्स वर एज लार्ज एज मैस्टिव एंड मच मोर निम्बल एंड फियर्स निम्बल मीन्स लाइवली एंड फेयर्स मीन्स वो बहुत एक्टिव थे द टेल्स वर अबाउट सिक्स फीट लॉन्ग उनकी जो टेल्स थी वो सिक्स फीट लॉन्ग थी द फार्मर्स डॉटर वॉज वेरी काइंड शी मेड क्लोथ्स फॉर मी बट देर क्लोथ्स वर कोर्स कोर्स मीन्स रफ उनके कपड़े जो होते थे बड़े अजीब से होते थे She also washed my clothes. She taught me their language. When I pointed to something, she would tell me its name in her लैंग्वेज मतलब द राइटर द जाइंट्स डॉटर वॉज वेरी काइंड एंड शी टॉट शी हेल्प द राइटर इन एवरी थिंग इन टीचिंग द लैंग्वेज इन वॉशिंग द क्लोथ्स एंड ऑल आई रिपीटेड द साउंड टू और थ्री टाइम्स इन अ फ्यू डेज आई वॉज एबल टू आस्क फॉर वॉट एवर आई वॉन्टेड मीन्स द राइटर यूज टू रिपीट द सेम सेंटेंस थ्री और फोर टाइम्स एंड देन आफ्टर सम टाइम He was able to convey whatever he wanted to say. She gave me the name of little man. The girl gave the writer a little man. She looked after me with a lot of care. She never left my side as long as I was there. I I called her the little nurse. Now here she take good care of the writer, and that is why the girl gave the writer little man, and the writer gave the little girl name little little. नर्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द चैप्टर प्लीज़ डू लाइक एंड शेयर माई चैनल माई इंग्लिश क्लासेस थैंक यू